Yes. Welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to fine tune uh, your Google Gemini's AI model using a very simple example. So let's begin. But before we go ahead, first let's understand what is fine tuning versus the simple prompting. So there are lots of material around, but you can we can take the help from Gemini only to ask tuning versus prompting in AI. And let's see what it says. It will take a couple of seconds. So what it says is both tuning and prompting are techniques. Blah blah blah. And so over here, Google uh, Gemini itself it gives the explanation what is prompting. Prompting is more of a prompting specific instructions and towards a desirable response. Like think of it as a instruction based uh, prompting. It's more of a like a general purpose is what I'll say. However, tuning is where there are two main types of tuning, fine tuning and uh, I think yeah, there is another uh, tuning. But fine tuning, more, mostly tuning at a high level means that we treat in the model for a specific data sets. So having said that, uh, we will use these concepts in our AI studio in which they are providing Gemini for free for now. And you can also use it in a in the form of API key if you are doing your programming. But in this uh, video, I'll stick to the interface of the AI studio. So there are two options here you, as you can see. One is prompt and one is a tune model. So first I'll show you what is a, a only a prompt means. So if you click on this and if you have to do some kind of say for example addition 2 plus 5 probably it will give you some response which is around 7 that's the correct response or 5 plus 3 this is again correct. But what if you want to modify this uh, data uh, to a specific use case. So I have created a data set over here it's around data set of what 50 data or 49 let us say and here what I have done is I have done a bit of modification here so it's not 1 plus 8 should be 9 however 8 is 17 because the second digit is multiplied by 2 so 8 into 2 16 plus 1 17 similarly here 10 into 2 20 plus 9 which is 29 and so and so forth so basically it's an addition but a bit of a change addition so here uh, the first uh, column is my input and the second column will be the output so we'll give this and tune our model as an input to this so let me go back and over here this time i'll start a twin model but before that let me save this so that we can come back and compare the results addition of num addition prompt okay and i'll just save this it should come in my library over here i'll also start okay so now it's saved so i'll start a tuning and here you get two options either you create a structure prompt or you import so we'll go with import option and then it will give you an option either you can use the google sheet from your drive or upload a new google sheet or new microsoft excel also is allowed so i've created this sheet what i just showed and i'll just drag and drop here and it will take a while okay to create it perfect so this came up and it shows my prompts so which are like it just shows a couple of prompts from the initial part and one plus 17 and nine plus ten uh, this and we can make it as an input or output so first prompt is of course input and this one is my output column and then click on import uh, that like the number of records and rest of things you can leave as it is for now and uh, the model name i will give is addition tune model and tune it it will be tuned for five epochs i could have shown you here so epochs it will tune for five epo epochs and uh, four data sets at one point of time so yeah, it will get added in your library and it's in the queue and it's getting tuned. So we can click over here and it will show you a very nice graphical representation of the tuning. So it will go one by one. So five epochs, let me explain one by one. What does it mean? Epochs is five number of times. Okay, five periods. Best size is four, which means it will take four records at a time. So it will take four records at a time to learn. Okay, so if it's a very large data set, it will take a lot of time. So you can increase the size so the learning is faster. But then, the, of course, the precision will be lost. There will be a trade off. And then, learning rate could be like how fast you want to this to learn. So it's a very simple data addition. Uh, then, also, it takes around uh, two minutes uh, time to run five epochs on these data sets. So, although it's easy and simple for us, straightforward, because we know the logic what we have used here. Say, for example, 
3 plus 5 should be 8. However, here it is starting plus 5 into 2, 13, 5 into 2, 10 plus 3, 13. So, but the AI is taking time to understand that and it will learn one by one. So, let us wait for it to complete. Uh, perfect. Once it is tuned, it will come like this. That is the model. Uh, tune completely. See, tune model. Okay. So, you can click on this to start a structure prompt or you can even from your library first go here. This page will come up and then click over here. So, this will open the structured uh, prompt here. So, this is unlike the other prompt which was like our addition prompt. Let me do one thing. Let me open it in a new window so that you can see side by side. So, this is more for testing purpose. Uh, this feature is provided. So, here we can add like uh, three, four test cases, test inputs and which we can try to test it. So, we will do one thing. We will use the same example probably what we have used here. 2 plus 5. Or we can do one more thing. We can put, pull something from here. Uh, 5 plus 7. Okay, so I think I have to type it manually, no problem. Then 3 plus 9, 4 plus 6. Yeah. 4 plus 6. So these are my inputs. Output will come once I press the run button. So or let me do it. And the output should come. So if you see the output here is not 2 plus 5 should be 7 ideally but it gives 12 because it follows the logic what we have given in our fine tuning which is uh, multiply the second number by 2 and then plus 2 which is 12. Similarly for 7 plus 5 should be 12 however it is 19 because 7 is added 2 times and similarly the logic goes here. However if you use the same thing over here say for example and even if you give a space here not a space so it's not like it memorizes anything it just follows the concept. So we'll try same thing over here. So if we have 4 plus 6, so 4 plus 6 will be, I think this will return 10 over here, 10. So this is a not, not tuned uh, prompt. It's a simple prompt and this is a tuned one. So here you can see 4 plus 6 gives 16 because it's tuned as per the data, whatever we have shown, uh, we have uh, recorded here, which is 16. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you. Like once you tune, or you don't have to be necessarily like uh, give the input from here. You can as some different inputs say for example uh, I'll add one more 10 plus 10 and I'm expecting to give 30 and most likely that is not here at least I don't see 10 plus 10 two times uh, that kind of input in this list so it's able to uh, interpret the meaning of the fine-tuned uh, data and accordingly give the results it should be 20 but it's 30 because the last digit number is added twice or multiplied by twice so that's all I wanted to show you in this video, the difference between the fine-tuned prompt and tuned prompt. So you, once you have the fine-tuned model, you can use it in your application and uh, whatever. So I'll show in my next video how to use this fine-tuned model. Okay, I think I have to save it first. So addition, fine, prompt, using fine-tuned model. Okay, so yeah, this should also come up in my library over here and yeah, this is coming. So I'll be showing how we can use the tune model in our application uh, with this simple example and I'll demonstrate that. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice time. Bye.